Hi everybody, I'm at the Clockwork Castle and this is a big mod. It's a big quest mod and this is your reward at the end of it. It's a wonderful place. You enter through here and there's no going back. The only way of leaving is by the dedicated transport room which is pretty fantastic. So, you have a stable and a mausoleum. I'll quickly show you that place. It comes into play during the quest line, which is utterly brilliant. I think of all the mods that I've played, big and small, this one is my favourite. Even more than Bruma, and I adore Bruma. Just because this actually terrified me. I've never been so scared in a video game in my life as I was when I played this. And this is my SSE game, and I think I'm going to download it for Ellie again because it's a long time since I did this uh, quest and all the little side quests that come with it. I quite fancy doing it again. Especially when you get to that stage in your game where, you know, you're bored with doing the same thing over and over, you just cannot face the Civil War one more time. I won't take you into there because that's another whole dimension. And I'm really trying hard not to give away any spoilers at all about this, about the quest or anything else. But you'll get pretty familiar with that place. So this is just to showcase the home. And I can guarantee you won't have seen anything quite like it. Ah, oh, just look at that up there. So it is an own world space, there's a teleport spell which you can only use in places where you can fast travel from, so out in the world. And look at this beautiful parquet flooring, the paintings, these gas lights, it's so steampunk and Victorian. utterly gorgeous. So this central section is the hub of everything. I'll show you the travel room. It's most unusual, I've never seen anything like it. There are a couple of storerooms here. Oh, the lighting in this place is absolutely gorgeous. They got it bang on. So you can see I've got full crease up there right now. And that was where I literally just traveled to. But if I want to go to White Run, Now that's lit up and you just literally walk through the terminus and all of these places have got little destination points at the end of them. I think for Honeyside, when I did one of the Honeyside videos, uh, you could see in that where the clockwork terminus was and so each one has their own. Look at that map, isn't it awesome? And storage in this home is also pretty fantastic. So you see this pneumatic tube receptacle. If I put something in there, I can send it to all of these places. And that is really handy. Plus, I just love that, that whole idea.
The noises in here are amazing. But it's not overwhelming at all. All right, so from this central section, you'll find doors going off to all the other places in the home. This painted woodwork is so exquisite. Somebody's hard at work. My dining table, all of this stuff, as you can see, is not static. And I am clumsy. Oh, I'll show you the workroom. Can you hear the clock? I love that sound in here. So as you can see, it's an awesome workroom and storage for everything. So now we're on the top deck. Here's my guy, Lahar. And he can do all sorts. Uh, when you first get here, there are other little quests that you can do that open up de various um, things within the castle. You can also ask him to clear out the cobwebs and fix the wallpaper. And if you want it put back to its untidy state then you can do that too oh, yes. <laughs> he is awesome he'll I also thank you he'll also give you a guided tour of the castle if you want him to okay I'll try and stick to one floor at a time so the armory is absolutely gorgeous little stutter there because I've put a few bits and pieces around here mainly just pretty things that I've picked up at the floating market so there's your receptacle again so that is really nifty being able to just transfer items from place to place using that rather than lugging them all about my Bruma guard's armour. Some of these bows, oh my god, they're so beautiful. There are lots of weapon racks, shield racks, mannequins, etc. And this is one of my favourite functions of the home. This fills up, it very cleverly knows what you've accomplished in the game and so you end up with all these little displays here, so for example control cube, they all turn up as you finish quests. So at a glance you can see what you've achieved. So, you know, there's my Elder Scrolls. You can also 
display your claws and your masks. I literally only had one mask on me. Stormcloak device in stone received after the battle for solitude for loyal service in the liberation of Skyrim. I don't know why that tickles me so much. <laughs> I just love that. So, little secret room. And you'll find around and about the place music boxes which you can turn on or off as it pleases you. I should just say, once you start this quest, uh, then you can't stop it. You know, you, you're you in it, so to speak. Look how fancy this is. And you can show off your staff on these staff mounts. I didn't have any on me to put up. And as you become fane of the various regions, You get the shields up over there. <laughs> that is just brilliant. Okay, so fantastic armory. Alrighty, the kitchen. Cooking pot and oven. And this brilliant cold store. And look at that, you can use the scales to sort your food into the various barrels. <laughs> Terrific. And there's also water in this place. There's literally hours of fun, I'm not kidding, in exploring this home. And Lahar, your, I guess he's your valet stroke manservant, really. He does all sorts of things. He really looks after you. Okay, so master bedroom. Look how wonderful this is. I guess, you know, some people might not like this, might feel that it's not very Skyrim, but you know, I don't care. I absolutely love it. And look how pretty. There's a little note from Lahar that he'd made them for Lamash too. So adorable. That really made me wish that I had made a female character. <laughs> As you can see, there's my guy in his... Oh gosh, what is that that I'm wearing? That's the officer's armour. Oh, from something or another. Hel a Helgen Reborn. 
and it's nice. It comes with a proper helmet and everything, but um, I always like to keep my face open. So that's a nice armor set. And look at this bathroom. Hot and cold running water, beautiful tile work and wallpaper. And what a bathtub. And the tiles on the floor, the amount of work that's gone into this place. It's staggering, isn't it? <laughs> and a natural garderobe. And a little office. And the study is also amazing. There's a book sorting chest so that you can put your books in there and then it actually sorts them out alphabetically into the correct bookcase. Check that out, book basket. And look at the color of the wallpaper in here. We've gone to this sort of midnight blue And as you progress through the quest line, you can unlock the Staff Enchanter. Oh, God, it's just beautiful in here. And then up the staircase. <laughs> oh, seriously. To the glass garden. And this is my favorite area of the home. Oh, it's amazing. Look at this. It's a bit dark in here at the minute. There are all sorts of vegetables and fungi. And you can water your plants. That is, I uh, just love that a bit. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, I won't speak to her, but here's Are your. We finished? Yes, we're finished. Here's uh, Lamash too. Great views from up here. Been there. 
so children I think you can have six here to be honest I've rarely come into this section how lovely are their beds it's ever so cozy turn my lantern back off again it's quite bright enough without it Oof. And their own loo. So yeah, room for six. Wow. Look at that wallpaper. Do you know the fact that everything is so hectic decoratively Somehow I just don't mind it. You know, it works in here. It's ever so ornate. <laughs> and I guess this would be room for your follower. Zzz. <laughs> Not better at a strange angle. That's the OCD in me. I need to straighten that up, you know? <laughs> ah, look at this place. Great big bath. Doesn't auto strip you. So, um, these will be your servants' quarters round here then, eh? Oh my goodness. So many beds. And once you know the backstory to this place, then uh, this amount of beds actually makes sense. And the backstory, I love the stories that come with homes and the, the whole quest and story for this place is probably the best I've ever read. Okay, well, I think that covers just about everything in the home. It's a fantastic place. So very lovely and unique. I think the only home I've ever seen to match it is the new mod, the Maple Manor. In terms of sheer beauty and, and size. Uh, but that one doesn't come with this amazing quest line, so I'm going to leave you with that view. Call that the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough with me and I will see you soon for another.